Hey, what's up guys? We're going to be going over what we talked about last night for HSM. And what we did was we looked at part two in our series on Moses. Our series is called Bound. And we were looking at how the law and how rules and different things like that can bind us and they can hold us back from God. Last week, David gave a great message about how the sin in our lives, that Jesus actually has provided a way for that sin to no longer have any bondage on us. And this week, what we talked about was how the law can bind us and keep us from God as well. So what we did was we looked back in the Old Testament, looking in Exodus at the end. Um, and what we did was I kind of gave a little synopsis of, um, you know, some of the more boring stuff in the Bible, if I'm going to be honest with you, the law. It's not super fun to read because it's not like a story um, or like poetry. Like it's a kind of genre that's not super interesting. But I kind of summed it up um, in a way, and I said this, the law, all of the rules, all of the different ways that Israel was told to act, it was also that God could be fully with his people. It was also that God could dwell in their midst. You see, at the end of Exodus, God gives the um, architecture for this building called the tabernacle. And what it was is it's God's dwelling place among his people when they were in the wilderness and in the promised land before the temple. And so the tabernacle became the temple, um, and that gets traced through the Bible. Um, and the idea of it was that God wanted to spend time with his people. And in order for that to happen and for the people not to just explode when God was with them, because he's so holy, he's so good, he's so loving, he's perfect, he can't, we as imperfect people can't be with him. So in order for the Israelite people to fully experience God, he gave them the law. But they twisted it. And we looked at two different ways that we can twist the law and we can take either steps to the left or to the right to mess things up. Maybe we're taking steps to the right and we push that truth down, the truth of the law, in favor of God's love. And, you know, and people are doing that these days in um, progressive Christianity, in more progressive type Christianity, who are talking about the love of God, which is true, it, it is. God does love everyone and he does forgive everyone. But then some people might be pushing down truth. They're not worried about um, you know, encouraging people to walk with God and walk in the way he's designed us to walk. Or we're taking maybe steps to the left and we're holding too tight to the law. Maybe we're pushing truth up and pushing down God's love. We're so worried about doing things right. We're so worried about following the rules um, and not sinning. We can be so caught up in that. It's good to be thinking about that, but we can be so caught up in it that when we make mistakes, we don't remember fully the love and mercy of God and we start to feel guilt, we start to feel shame. And so we twist it. We can take this good thing that God has given us, the law, and we can twist it either by taking steps to the left or to the right. And we can miss the point that God is trying to give us. And so Israel did that exact same thing throughout their entire history. And then we get to Jesus. And what we looked at last night was how Jesus fulfills the law. In Matthew 5, when he's giving his Sermon on the Mount, he says, I did not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. You see, Jesus is the perfect human. He's the one who has walked completely according to the law, has done what no other human can do so that he can experience the fullness of God. And because of his work and the person of who he is, he then offers that to us. You see, we now are able to take on Jesus' righteousness before the Father. And just like Moses, when he walked in the law and was able to be in the presence of God, in the same way we, if we follow Jesus and if we trust and believe in him and we serve him, we can be fully experiencing God's presence. But the beauty of it is it doesn't end there. The beauty of our walk is that is not the last word. You see, God is infinite. He goes on and on. There's always more love to experience from God. There's always more faithfulness to experience from him. And so just because we can experience the, um, God's presence because of Jesus, there's still more. And as we walk in the law, as we walk according to the way Jesus walked, we get to experience more and more of who God is. It's the beauty of why we serve him. It's the beauty of um, our relationship with him. And it should guide us to be walking in truth. And the things the Bible says, we should be acting on that and believing in that truth so that we can experience more and more of who God is. Not taking, you know, hold too tightly onto the law, but also not having it at all. But understanding that the law is a way for us to experience more and more of God. So that's what we talked about last night, guys. We looked at the tabernacle. God wants to spend time with us. We talked about how we can twist it one way or another. 
and we talked about how important Jesus is in that. So I hope you guys can hang out with us next week and experience that. If not, this video is going to be at the same time. God bless you guys. See you later.